All right, traders. So I closed out the week very, very strong on my Bumble put option swing trade. I am nearly up 50% in one single day swing trading my Bumble put options. And I truly believe that this is just the beginning. In terms of playing it safe, I did decide to lock in one third of my position for profits when I was up 34% today as it was free falling on that crash to 2180. With that being said, I'm still holding 67% of my position. I'm going to be walking you through the strategy and explaining to you on why I'm still holding 67% left and why I strongly believe those contracts that I'm up nearly 50% on in one day are going to be worth 100 to 150% before expiration, most likely within the next two weeks. So for those of you who watched my previous video at the 14 minute mark, I explained to you guys on why I bought Bumble put options and I walked you through the trading plan and the trading strategy. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back to yesterday's video at the 14 minute mark i'll leave a link below in the description that second link um but with that being said like i stated you know i alert all my trades real time in terms of day trades i didn't take any day trades for today in terms of my profits it came from taking one third of my profits for a 34 percent win on the bumble and i'm still holding 67 percent because i strongly believe within the next two to three weeks this stock is going to get slaughtered and i'm going to explain to you why so with that being said, you're going to learn the strategy that's consistently making us money within Trader Society. This was alerted in the Leap Options trading section. So Leap Options, these are like midterm option plays. These are passive income plays where you don't have to actively view and actively trade within the market. So if you're looking to plant some more money seeds you know, for your account, because we're obviously not sizing all in on our day trades, meaning we have a lot of money in cash just sitting there, right? And I'm not interested in investing into this current market unless it's like a midterm put for the time being. So with all that cash, I'm looking for some leap options and I'm planting those seeds. And one of those seeds that I planted was on Bumble, which is currently up 50%. Another seed that I planted, which is up 50% as of now is Coca-Cola put options. Another seed that I planted was KSS Coles put options when it was in the 60s. Um, you know, Coca-Cola put options when it was at like 61. But with that being said, let's keep the focus on Bumble for now. So this was a passive, you know, income swing trade. I got in at two dollars and ten cents. It was a, you know, the strike was twenty two point five, and April fourteenth expiration, like thirty four days till expiration, something like that. So I had plenty of time, right? In terms of leap options, it's always best to give yourself a little bit more time than expected, right? Now, with that being said. You know, I explain to people the setup and I explain to them why I currently sized in half of what I plan to do because it could potentially spike. And then towards power hour, it started going down a little bit and it was looking even more bearish. So I decided once I got that confirmation to add the rest of my side, averaging my cost down at $2.03, bringing my average to 205. These contracts hit $3 today, up nearly 50%, and I'm still holding 67% of my size. So the question is, what was this setup with Bumble? How was I able to do this? How was I able to capitalize by buying put options yesterday when it was nearly at the highs trading at $24.10 when I sent out that original alert, right? So with that being said, first things first, it was all within the chart. I'm trading the chart. I'm trading the history. I'm laser focused on the chart. And what the chart was telling me is, let's see what it did, right? So what did Bumble do? What, it, what is Bumble doing? It's consistently pushing for new all-time lows, which is something that sparks my interest when I'm interested in, you know, buying puts on a stock. One variable that I like is, is the stock pushing for new all-time lows? And the answer is yes. This is a terrible stock pushing for new all-time lows, right? So when you get the opportunity, when you get the gift of a stock like this that is pushing for new all-time lows, a terrible chart to be buying into, when you get the gift of it gapping up massively, from 1666 to a high of 2534 in two single days, that's an overreaction. History shows it likes to quickly go back and fill the gap below. History shows it likes to quickly push for new all-time um, lows. History shows it doesn't like to hold its gains. History shows it likes to crash quickly from this level prior to having a bounce. See this two-day move bounce. See this two-day move gap up bounce. What happens on the third day? It sells off, it gets wrecked. It sells off, it gets wrecked. Pass great passive income play to plant some money seeds. Now, here's another strategic pattern that I used. Check this out. Right here, it had a gap up. Nice big gap up. Look at the candlestick. 
right? Looks very similar to this candlestick right here. If we're going to compare these candlesticks side by side with the massive gap up, this candle right here looks nearly identical to this candle right here. Look at the second day. It pushes a little higher. Look at the second day. It pushes a little higher. And then what does it do? It closes weak. And then what happens on the third day? On the third day, it goes red. And then what happens a couple of days after that? It comes back down to earth to fill the gap below. You see how history is repeating itself. You see that pattern. You see that trend. You see this bearish wick here towards key resistance levels. All these key variables I'm, I'm giving you, all these things, I'm stacking all the odds in my favor. I'm stacking all of the trends that I can possibly stack in my favor. Another thing is, okay, this just, when this cracked right here, when this cracked 26, when this cracked like 24s, what did it do? It quickly ramped to new all-time lows. So it just had a massive gap up from new all-time lows, right? And what is it doing? It's turning previous support into resistance, which is bearish. It can't break through this floor. So it's just going to snap at some point and start to fill the gap below. And then you might be wondering, well, okay, we get all these confirmations, but how can we figure out on like, how can we get a way of knowing, um, you know, an expectation of how long is it going to take to fill this gap below? So we can go with the right expiration that's going to generate the biggest amount of return, right? So one way of doing that is look at the past. Like right here, it had a nice move up. And then within a week, it just got crushed and it really hit new all-time lows. So the reality is within one week to two weeks, we can see it got filled. Now, when you're doing this, you always want to go with a little bit more time than you expect it to. But that's one way to kind of figure out. Look at what the past is going to show you. The history is going to give you the answers. Here's another example. It gapped up. It took about a week. So you could see when it likes to top out, this one likes to quickly drop massively and fill the gap below within one single week. So I decided to play it safe and give myself more time than expected because there's always the possibility it can spike back a little bit or chop a bit or trade sideways before seeing that bigger, the bigger move, the bigger sell that we're playing for with the rest of the position size. Um, but this could be a situation where the March 18th are going to super fucking print. Like in terms of my contracts, you know, I got in at such a good entry. Um, you know, yesterday I was up like 9% and then, um, right now it says they're up 26%. So with that being said, if you went with the March 18th, if you went with the short term one, these are up, you know, same, same strike. These are up 57%, right? The problem with these are though, is you lack the time, meaning you need that big move to quickly happen to make that money. And this was that situation where these really printed as well. But I decided to play it safe in this situation, give my more time than expected because anything's possible. I went with the April, you know, 14th and I played it safe in that sense, giving myself much more time, a little bit more time than needed, which is, which is fine in some cases. But either way, these printed, these contracts, like literally if you look at what they were trading at yesterday, and this was a safe strike and this was a safe expiration. It's not like I'm YOLOing my money into a quick expiration that's deep far out of the money that's so hard to make money on until you know the out of money expiration becomes in the money. I'm playing very, very safe contracts. Look at this, the sky is the limit, guys. The sky is the limit on this. Look at this. These contracts not too long ago were worth $7. When this was trading at all-time lows, these contracts were sitting at $7 for two days straight. And then when this stock gapped up, look at the low on them. The low was at $1.55. We were buying these yesterday at $2.03. They shot up to $3.10 today. Look at this. You see how Bumble is going back down to fill the gap below? Look at what the puts are doing. The puts are going back the fuck up to fill the gap above. We're trading both ways. We're doing something that other people aren't doing. Most people just try to learn the lawn side. You have to learn how to trade both ways. That way you know how to sell. And when you sell for your profit, then you can enter a put option and take advantage of the downside move instead of watching that stock just get slaughtered, right? So with that being said, that is the play on Bumble. And in terms of another indication, you know, of this coming back to earth, I was using Bumble like about two years ago. And I'm telling you guys, I remember using this app. It wasn't that bad. I logged back in, like I was thinking about like buying puts on this. I logged back into that for the first time in like two years. In terms of the updates in the interface and like the changes they've made to the app, they're trying to monetize the shit out of this app. They're trying to monetize it. They're trying to get people to upgrade. They're not giving people a lot of likes. The point is they're not giving their users anything. They're just trying to pump, you know, they're just trying to pump extract money from their wallets that's really all they're trying to do and i looked at the updates and i've looked at what they're doing with this app 
And there's no shock to me that this stock is pushing the new all time lows. Cause I'm telling you when this like way back in years ago, it wasn't that bad, but in terms of like how this app and what it's turned into, it's like, it's just completely shit. This company's going nowhere. So this is one of those situations where the gap fill strategy works. Remember? So there's, there's this gap method. There's multiple concepts to it. You know, there's the gap close reversal strategy where if Bumble goes back up to fill this gap and then it has a reversal, then it starts to fill the gap below, right? In this situation, this was just a one-sided thing where it was just playing for the gap to fill below. You can use both sides of the strategies. This was just the gap to fill strategy short. So for those of you within Trader Society, we go over step-by-step -step everything it is you need to know and understand about the strategy. It works on mid caps, large caps, small caps. It is phenomenal and it's printing. We were using the same strategy to kill it on CEI. You guys remember CEI. The difference with this one was it wasn't just a gap to fill below that we were playing for. It was a gap close reversal. The first step was it filled the gap, had a reversal. Then we play for the gap to fill below. Those are the best ones when it's a double strategy. Um, but you can see there's a lot of different variables and stacks you can add on to these trends. You guys remember um, triple B, why we killed it this one as well. There was a gap to fill right here, a small gap at $28.35. Once the gap filled, it reacted as resistance. We bought the puts at 28. That stock went all the way down to $20 the same day the puts absolutely printed and we were playing for the gap to fill below. So with that being said, that's the strategy. That's some of the basics. If you're in Trader Society, go to the gap method section, go to the gap fill strategy, go to the gap close reversal strategies. Those are going to be the best strategies with in the program. Master this one simple gap method and it'll change your life in a year. I'm telling you, if you're disciplined enough and focused enough to just master this, this is all you're going to need. So with that being said, I'm going to be giving some updates um, most likely on Sunday. I'll post a video giving you some updates on stocks on my radar and new price alerts that I'm setting. Moving forward, like I said, all my trades are going to be coming from price alerts. It's not an accident that I'm becoming successful because I understand what works and I'm disciplined enough to follow what works. And I'm putting myself in a position to succeed because I analyze, okay, this is the best setup. This is the best price. I'm going to set my price alert and that's it. And then when the price alert triggers, then I wait for confirmation. When the confirmation triggers, I stick to the plan. I have a stop loss. I have a price target. I take profits along the way, leave some on for the bigger price target. And then if I get stopped out, I get stopped out. It is what it is. I'm putting myself in the best position possible to succeed by, by premeditating these trades, by having the preparation and by premeditating my every move before I even get the confirmation to enter. I'm one step ahead of everybody. That's what I'm doing differently, guys. That's the key. That's the name of the game. So that was all within the watch list as well in terms of other stocks that are on my radar right now. So Clove is becoming interesting in terms of Clove, what I need in terms of confirmation. So this one, this is a gap fill strategy. Um, you can see right here in terms of Clove stock, it's actually a gap close reversal to fill the gap below. There was a gap right here at key resistance, $3.11. Stock's got huge downside for the short term, goes to 220. Huge downside for the short term, goes to 220. This is going to be another leap option idea where I'll probably go a month out in terms of expirations, stay close in the money at like $3 strike. And with that being said, for me to enter this trade, I need to see more bearish confirmations. And I have a lot of different confirmations that I use, but it's fairly simple to learn. Now, for this one, there's a gap to fill at 299. I need to see $3, $2.90 turn into resistance. If I can get a strong confirmation, today we got the red candle, it's failing to break out towards this key level, it's having a gap close reversal, it's looking bearish. So if I can get a stronger confirmation, I'll gladly swing trade puts out for a month, stay at the money at $3 strike, ride this back down to 245. If 245 cracks, then we fill the gap at $2.36. If $2.36, cracks, then we fill the gap at $2.01, right? At some point, these gaps are going to fill below. Stock is just consistently pushing new all-time lows. So we just got to identify and wait for the right confirmations to buy them in terms of timing and give our contracts and expirations more time than needed. That's a setup that I'm looking at that's on my radar. In terms of another play, this will be a more short-term one in and out trade. I'm looking at MDB. MDB stock is on my radar. So in terms of MDB, what I'm looking at for this one is this stock recently had a nice gap up and this is another strategy it's a key breakdown strategy where you play for the gap to fill below we went over this yesterday with bumble you could have day traded bumble today did very very well using this strategy that i'm about to use on mdb with that being said you can see bumble stock had a gap up so when a stock has a massive gap up you want it to be a massive gap up over reactions that's what you want overbought in terms of puts oversold in terms of calls you can see right here when this had a massive gap up on day one the low of day was 22 dollars 
So what that means is when $22 cracks, you're going to see a nice sell off. And as soon as $22 cracked, it snapped. It went to 2130s and it's on track to go much lower. I can see Bumble going to like, you know, $20 and, you know, even $18 within the next two weeks. It's definitely possible. And this gap is going to fill within time, most likely before my expiration at 1666. My puts are going to print. I'm telling you guys, I got in at like $2. The delta right now on these are 50 cents. Every single time it drops a dollar from my entry, I'm making 25%. The more and quicker it falls, the higher the delta goes up, which means I'm making more on the dollar. I'm banking because the entry is so good. Um, but yeah, if I would have went with the short term expirations, I would have been banking twice as much. But it is what it is. You know, I decided to play it safe at the end of the day. I mean, I'm taking a fairly big position size on that. Um, but with that being said, in terms of MDB, once this can crack 315, I'm going to be interested in buying puts and try my best to ride this back down to fill the gap below. This is going to be a day trade that I'm looking at on this where I get in, I get out in terms of a price target that I'm looking at. Right here is like some key resistance that can react as support for the micro. So I'm looking for a quick, I would say, you know, this went from 344 to 316 on the day. So it dropped like 30 points, 28 points. I'm looking for a quick, I would say a quick 10 point scalp, a quick 10 point scalp when it can crack 315, make a quick 10 points on it. The puts will print um, in terms of the strike price that I'll be doing on that a 315 put strike with the closest expiration, which would be a March 18th. That's what I'm looking to do. These are going to be a little bit more expensive, um, but they'll print nicely. The, the delta is, it, sh it should be a little higher, but as it tanks, the delta will increase. But th that'll be a nice quick, like probably 25, 30%, not too bad. And then in terms of calls, I want to see how it reacts right here. So I got my price alert set. So when this, if this can get to 282, like I said, the quicker, the better over reactions, quick moves is what we're looking for. If it can get the 282, react to support, like it down, like it did right down here, look bullish. I'll look to day trade calls in order to swing trade calls in order to swing trade puts. I need the confirmations at the close. I need, you know, the bearish candles at the close for the puts. And then I need the bullish candles at the close for the calls. MDB is on my radar for a quick in and out. Um, and then you guys have to understand these videos and these opportunities that I'm sharing with you, um, we're setting the price alerts. And some of these price alerts are going to trigger right away. They'll trigger the next day. Some of these price alerts are going to trigger in a week. Some of them are going to trigger in a month. Some of them might trigger in a year. The point is set the price alerts and you're going to compound your account to trade the best setups at the best prices. When these alerts start triggering, these are going to be gold mine opportunities, A plus setups where you're just waiting for confirmation. So just understand like these videos that I'm making, this is like compounding my account, compounding my premeditated, you know, trading, compounding my legacy. It's like once these alerts trigger and I get confirmation, that's me executing on that trade. So this is all going to be, you know, this is all like relevant. Like you have to understand, like once these prices are triggered, these are going to be the best prices. I'm putting you guys in the best position to succeed. It compounds over time. There might be a period where these alerts don't trigger for a couple of weeks, but then all of a sudden, boom, we get swamped with them. So just keep setting the price alerts, keep trading the price alerts, but wait for the confirmations, of course, and stick to the trading plan. So if we can get to um, on Shopify, like I said, this is from the last video, 515 is a level of interest for a quick scalp, for a quick call, for a nice move up. And then in terms of puts, very interested in puts on 587.65. So those are like the main ones I'm looking at right now. I'm thinking Coca-Cola is going to turn very, very bearish. I got, I st I'm still holding March 18 puts that are up nearly 50%, playing for this gap to fill below at 56.41. Once this gap fills at 56.41, look for a quick micro scalp day trade to buy in and out. Um, and then same here, this would be a great level. Over time, all these gaps should fill over time. That's going to take quite some time though. But I think by the end of March, we can get to 56.24 on this. That should be a nice one that does well. Um, in terms of my overall views on the SPY right now. So in terms of the SPY, if you watched my video yesterday, I literally told you guys, if SPY gaps up, I am going to be interested in playing puts and shorting you know, SPY if it fills this gap at $432.17, you see this gap at 432.17. Well, the same thing happened as last time. It filled it in the pre-market and unfortunately it crashed way too quickly. But the point is the strategy worked. I gave you guys the best level. It had a massive move up very, very quickly, which is great. That's an overreaction, right? It did the same thing it did here. Let me show you. Um, on this day right here, remember this? This is the day where we played puts it open because it was at the right price, 432.17. We played puts it open, made a quick, nice put trade on that, sold too soon. Um, the same thing happened today. 
It's just the thing is, it was in the pre-market. So you can short these in the pre-market. Use a broker who allows you to short in the pre-market. You can use this strategy on shares as well, not just on the options. Could have done very well on that. I literally told you guys, once you see 432 react as a resistance level, like it did early in the pre-market, SPY is going to get crushed. And then it's going to start to go back down to fill the gap below at 425.48. If that reacts as support, it's going to try to pump back up. If that reacts as a resistance like it did right here, then it's going to get crushed and fill the gap below. So in terms of the market right now, things are looking very, very bearish uh, for the micro. In terms of SPY, my level of interest for a call, and this is going to be very interesting because, guys, put this into perspective. We went from 433 to 420 in one single day. So this is an overreaction. So in terms of the SPY, my level of interest is 416.25. And then there's also strong support towards like, you know, 415, 414.50. Around this zone, if we can see some positive confirmations, I'm looking to do an in and out day trade, just a very quick micro trade. In terms of the SPY right now and in terms of the stocks right now, their daily charts are looking very, very bearish. They really are. They're forming lower highs, they're forming red bearish candlesticks. But in terms of the spy, and this is very important, look at this, see how this nice red candle comes in, see how this nice red candle comes in, see how this nice red candle comes in, at key support, at key support, at key support. Look what happens. It gaps down, it gaps down, and then it rips back up. So what I'm telling you is towards this level, we are due for some sort of micro move, some sort of micro spike on the spy. I would like it more, if there was a gap to fill, um, you know, if there's a gap to fill above. And if you take a look here, it closed at 420.07. So if it does gap down, that's what I would love. I would love for it to gap down on Monday. There's going to be a gap to fill above at 420.07. So if it opens up lower than 420.07, there's going to be a gap to fill at 420.07, meaning we can see a reversal towards these levels for a quick pop to 420 in and out on the call options, make a quick 30, 40, 50%. That's the game plan for SPY right now. Um, and that's my thoughts. That's my analysis. So guys, that is going to be it. I'm telling you the results, the testimony. We got people every single day, man. I got to give a big shout out to my guy again here. He's absolutely killing it, man. I got to get to New York City, man. Um, He's absolutely killing it. It's up over $1,800 on the day. That's just one of his trades. You know, he's every single day, man. He, he just doesn't miss. Like the consistency insane SM, $1,200 profit. Um, Riser played the put options on Bumble. Portfolio is up 2.87%. That is insane. That's that's all you need, man. Like I'm saying, one percent a day. That's at the end of the day, one percent a day is the goal. Two percent is like mind blowing. Just don't go taking huge position sizes on your account to get those returns. Always remember that. Let the percentage of the contracts do the work for you, not the position size. Um, 11% on the big account today. That's absolutely insane. $1,600 profit on Vincent. $400 profit there. Um, this guy recently just joined. But you guys are just killing it. Like the results, the consistency insane. And I'm telling you, we got a good group. We got a great pro. Every single day, man, light, every single day lights out. I see him posting a 50% return, 100% return, 200%, 300% return on his contract. So this guy's hitting big percentage wins. Um, but yeah, big shout out to the members within Trader Society, guys. I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. Like we're going to look back at these videos a couple years from now and people are going to be like wow like we really made it big it's it's going to be insane man this is just the beginning this truly is just the beginning um but yeah as time goes on like i said you know within this program it's only going to get better there's only going to be more value and people are really going to rise up within this program we're really going to rise up within this world so it is a one time fee and it is a lifetime access for a limited time only this is going to be the lowest the price will ever be you know that's that's just the reality of this situation so if you are interested in getting the best deal you can possibly get, the program launched in December 8th. We have two members who've made over six figures. One guy is now reported he's made over 200,000 um, within the past two months. We have two members within the program who have made over six figures since joining. Um, I've seen members join the program. They're making the cost of the program back, some of them, within the first day. I've seen people make 10 times, 20 times, 30 times the cost of the program back within the first week. I've seen people before they even join the program make 30 times the cost of the program. It's the results people get if they just execute on the knowledge and the education that I'm giving them and they're disciplined enough to stick with it and follow it and not get off track, tune into the noise in chat rooms, tune into the noise on Twitter, um, give back money in terms of not doing what's best for them. I'm telling you guys, like in terms of having this mindset and this, this discipline, it's, it's really going to come from the downfall. 
when you have these big red days, it's going to really reset your mind. You're going to be like, whoa, I really need to switch things up. If I want to, you know, keep that consistency, keep that success, it's really going to rewire everything. And if you just stick to, you know, the best setups at the best prices with the price alerts, you should do fairly well as you're learning and mastering it and, you know, gaining trading experience. So with that being said, it's one-time fee, it's lifetime access. It's going to be the first link down below in the description. You will get instant and lifetime access to the chat room, to the live trading streams that we do at Market Open. Um, you know, to one-on-one -on -one direct messaging with me and members within Trader Society in the chat room, to getting your answers, to getting your questions answered live on spot in the market stream every single day at market open, to getting the stock analysis and the watch list, to getting the price alerts that I set, all the price alerts that I'm setting, they're alerted in real time within, you know, Trader Society. And then when I execute my trades, you'll get the real-time entry, the real-time exit. That's not for you to blindly follow. That's to show you that this is what the best setup looks like. This is what I'm trading. Do you see what I'm seeing? Are you understanding the strategy? You get to watch me do it in real time, right? And then if you see it, you agree with it, then you could take the trade. But if you're going to blindly follow it, it's just not going to work out. I don't care who you follow. I don't care how successful someone is. If you're just there to blindly follow their alerts and you're not there to grow and learn and understand how the strategy works, you're not going to be seeing the same results versus someone who's disciplined, who sees what I see, who has that third eye, who has that education, who's making their own trades, but then I alert something and they use it as a scanner and say, you know what, this is a great alert. And I'm going to take this trade because I see what he's, I see what he sees. I have experience with the strategy and I like the setup. I'm going to take the trade as well. And then there'll be other times where, you know, they don't agree with it and that's completely fine. You got to stick to what works with you. But, um, yeah, if you are interested in becoming an independent trader who trades self-sufficiently, who consistently makes money within the market, it's going to be that first link down below in the description. You will also get lifetime access to, of course, the video lesson library where you learn the gap trading system the system that has led to our success. The system will also provide you the mindset, the psychology behind trading and the risk management and the position size and the tools and resources you need to succeed. So it's gonna be the first link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for using your time to invest into your education. In terms of becoming successful guys, um, use some of the time over the weekends to ponder, to study, to learn, to educate, right? You know, it's okay to celebrate and have a great time. That's completely fine. But in terms of success, if you really want to get to that next level, you got to put in the work and put in the hours. You know, success comes from, you know, pondering, not from partying. Um, but with that being said, you know, if you had a great week, if we're doing well, like let's celebrate as well and let's enjoy life. Let's live. So um, yeah, it's going to be the first link down below in the description. I'm looking forward to working with you guys and I will see you on the live trading stream at Market Open on Monday. And I'm also going to be posting a video on Sunday, most likely. And I will also be answering questions within chat over the weekend. That's a great time to send, you know, messages, direct messages over the weekend when I have a little bit more free time. Um, and yeah, if you really want to get started with your education, you can get started right now and start, you know, knocking out these video lessons over the weekend as, and, you know, ask, asking me questions. So I'm going to leave it off that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, subscribe to the channel and I will see you within the next one.